As believers, we are not exempt from being deceived, especially if we are not well grounded in the truth of God's Word and very familiar with His voice from our time spent in the secret place, just us and God alone. Top of the morning to you. When we consider who we are in Christ with the mind of love and a firm determination to get to know God more fully, we are warned about being deceived. Deception is an age-old tool that the devil has used to get people separated from their faith. He, uses decep- he used deception in the garden, Genesis 3.13, Eve speaking, The serpent deceived me, and I ate of the forbidden fruit. 2 Corinthians 11.3 tells us that just as Eve was deceived by the serpent's craftiness, our minds can be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. Thinking this message of Christ is too easy to believe. How can one man's death wash away centuries of sin? There must be something we must we can do to add to this, like religious works or acts of charity or just living a good life. After all, we are good people, not sinners. 1 John 1.8 1, If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Verse 9 Rather, if we confess our sin, He is faithful and just to forgive our sins, to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We need this because 1 Corinthians 6, 9, Don't be deceived. The unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. The rest of the verse details what types of acts are considered unrighteous. We are counted righteous in 1 John 1, 7. If we walk in the light as He is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sins. We are capable of being deceived by Colossians 2, 4, persuasive words, Ephesians 5, 6, empty words with no meaning, Romans 6, 18, 16, 18, with smooth words and flattery speech. In the last days, 2 Thessalonians 2, 8 through 10, talks about the man of lawlessness will be revealed, coming to do the works of Satan, complete with counterfeit power and signs and miracles. Verse 10, he will use every kind of deception to fool those on their way to destruction because they refuse to love and accept the truth that would save them. Verse 12, they will be condemned for enjoying evil rather than believing the truth. Jesus tells us in Mark 13, 22, false Christ and false prophets will rise and show signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect or believers. Mark 13, 6, Many will come in my name, Jesus said, saying, I am he and will deceive many. Titus 3, 3 tells us we are especially vulnerable to deception if we serve lust and pleasures and our lives are full of evil, envy, and hate. Verse 4, But when God our Savior revealed his kindness and love, verse 5, he saved us because of his mercy, washing away our sins, giving us new life through the Holy Spirit. Verse 7, Declaring us righteous. Words of encouragement, 2 Thessalonians 2, 3. Let no one deceive you, for the day of Jesus' second coming will not happen until there is a great falling away of believers, and the man of sin is revealed, verse 4, exalting himself to be God, even sitting in the temple of God. Until then, we, are, we can deception-proof our lives by knowing the truth of God's word and know God more by time spent in the secret place, just us and God alone. Have a great day.